it's impossible to be an expert in every single gene. There's 20,000 genes. Like, you can't keep everything straight, but AI can. My name is Katherine Brownstein. I'm a geneticist here at Boston Children's Hospital. I'm also scientific director of the Manton Center for Orphan Disease Research. I deal with the N of 1 cases where no one has seen that presentation before. The patients don't know what's going on. They're really medical refugees in some way. It's like wing walking, like you're seeing things and you're seeing genetic things, you're seeing phenotypic things and you're trying to connect them and none of it's been seen before, but like you think you are the only one in the world, but really sometimes there's a whole community that just haven't come together yet. When before I would look up an article and then look up another article and then look up another article chat with reasoning is so much easier to use. It's just a quick prompt to summarize it for me and then summarize this part for me. I mean, it's just way, way faster. This is a case of excruciating pain in their bladder. We can't figure out why. So I can go here and say, can you tell me about citrate synthase. And it shows, it tells me that it is expressed in the bladder and it could potentially be related to bladder health. So the decrease in trait synthase activity, oh, this is really smart because I don't know from this variant if it's like knocking down activity or causing too much activity. It's actually really hard to figure that out sometimes. Um, and so it gives both options. So I can um, think about both ways that it could be going. That's actually really cool. I go down a lot of rabbit holes that do not yield anything useful. And being able to increase the percentage of rabbit hole to useful information is killer. There's a level of obsession that all of us have. I think we also have the cases that keep us up at night where, you know, we really can't figure out why we can't figure it out. No case is ever closed.